What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another po Hidden Fates Pokemon opening. Today we're going to be battling Tim the Pokemon Collector. Uh, Tim is a mod in the Discord, and he does a good job uh, keeping the peace, keeping things sane, uh, especially when there's uh, some more rambunctious people in, in the Discord. So huge shout out to you, and thanks for uh, being a mod in the channel. Today we're going to be opening up a ETB Hidden Fates. We got 10 packs and let's see, I wrote this down. The way it's going to work is we're going to have a point system where you get one point for a reverse energy, uh, two for a GX, three points for any shiny Pokemon, non GX shiny Pokemon, five for full art supporters. I feel like we get a lot of those, especially Jesse James and Giovanni. What else we got? Six for a shiny GX and last eight points for any kind of gold card. If either of us does pull the big hit shiny Charizard, that will obviously be an instant victory. Alright, let's get into our box. Here is the coat card right there for some birds. And we have our 10 packs. And that's all I need from here. Alright, set this off to the side. Best of luck, Tim. All right, let's get into this opening. Hmm. Half the what the? These packs are like all over the place. Not sure what to. It's probably nothing, but let's get into our first pack. As always, we're hoping to get five hits from these boxes, and I feel like it's always been five, sometimes six, but rarely higher or lower. So the pull rates for at least myself have been very consistent. And at least I love that. Okay, for our first pack, we have Jigglypuff, Ekans, Geodude, Cubone, Eevee. Mew is our first rare, nothing there. And then a Voltorb. So that was a dud. Yeah, it's been great to have Tim and everyone else in the Discord, so definitely check it out if you're not already. There's always a link in the description down below. Uh, of course, there'll be a link to his channel and video as well, so definitely go check it out and see who won the battle. Alright, let's see. We got Geodude, Cubone, Eevee, a Zapdos for our second pack. Still nothing to show for our... <laughs> To show on the scoreboard for ourselves, so going to need to uh, pick things up by a significant margin. Let's see what's going on these days. Hidden Fate still the talk of the town, but uh, we have some. Hopefully, get some new stuff in the near future on new content on the channel soon. I'm gonna try to figure out how to do like streaming and stuff like that. Ooh, Charizard GX. <laughs> a very sick pull, but not the, not the Charizard we need for the instant victory and then a Cubo to back him up. We will take that though. These Charizard arts are really good, I will say. Uh, but yeah, let's see, we'll have a try to set up a Nintendo Switch stream setup so by the time Sword and Shield does come out we'll be ready to go that'll be loads of fun and in the meantime maybe we'll do um, some PTCGO or something a couple of people have wanted to do some battles through there so if there's anything particular you're interested in catching let me know I uh, it's gonna be tough with my schedule it's gonna be really difficult to kind of like have a consistent schedule but I'm sure we can work something out at least a couple hours, uh, a few days a week. Wow. This is rough. I think we're at a grand total of two points so far. <laughs> I'm uh, actually, the last couple ETBs, or this one and the last one, start off super rough. Yesterday, we did manage to catch up, but... Uh, Feel like we are pretty fortunate to catch up so far this one uh, is just as rough of a start jigglypuff star you ekans eevee pikachu electrode man this rare slot is killing us but we do have a shiny celesteela for three points 
This card is not that interesting, but Celesteela is a very cool looking Ultra Beast. That is very unique. Whoever designed these Ultra Beasts, like, they have a very, very good imagination. I think, I think Balcephalon is my favorite, like, he reminds me of it. Not that I've seen that movie, but just like the colors he used. That thing could come straight out of a horror film. How many packs do we have? Oh my, we already passed the halfway mark. We only have two hits for a grand total of five points. If we're going to win this, we might have to pull the the home run Charizard, which uh, obviously I'll be stoked about. Eevee and Clefairy. Clefable. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. All right, let's move some stuff around. Four more packs. As always, guys, if you do enjoy the content, be do a do blah, blah, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And uh, if you're just coming from Tim's channel, welcome. We do Pokemon content essentially every single day. And um, yeah. Be sure to subscribe for future content. Pikachu, Magikarp, Golem. Whew, gosh, all right. Worst ETV so far. <laughs> Although I think we said that yesterday. But my gosh, this is rough. Tim, you might get a very easy victory because this, uh, this is going terribly. This is like a, a box you see like on Reddit where like people show like all green codes when they're like different when they buy like a product. I feel like this is heading in that direction. Another golem. All right, and Snorlax too. Ooh. All right. To get to our five hit quota, we're gonna need double hitter packs, which is possible. We've gotten that a number of times. But it is very rare to say the least. Alright, let's get something good. We're gonna need runner runners on this. We got a Jinx, Magmar, Brock, Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee, Clefairy, Caterpie, Jesse, and James. Ah, where's the Volar one when we need it? Ooh, nice! A new Ultra or Ah uh, yeah, Ultra Beast. But a new shiny GX, this is one that we do not have. Okay, that is a nice shiny. That is a very cool orange, really pops out. Compared to its, to be honest, very boring, like, I think it's all, just like, almost all purple. This orange reminds me of like a, a very like, sporty car. All right, shiny GX is six points, so that should bring us to 11. That is unlikely going to do it. If we get a double hitter here though, at least we will have a very solid opening. Because uh, even if we lose the battle, I would definitely not to be like screwed over by a terrible box. So here we go, can we get some last pack magic? Metapod. Jinx, Magmar, Eevee, Caterpie, Paris, Ekans, Psyduck, Erica's Hospitality again. Alright, I feel like we probably got whooped, but uh, either way guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to go check out Tim's video, subscribe to this channel if you're not already, and for our last pack, we have one, two, three, boom! Oh, wow! <laughs> Alright, so for... Um, four hits so we didn't hit our quota but we got two new shiny GX's and it's very rare that we say those words so we didn't hit our quota but either way I am very happy with the results of this opening let's see Twilight Eyes is it the good one when you play this Pokemon oh yeah this is a really good one when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve a Pokemon during your turn you may wait oh no no that's not what I thought. I thought it was the one that you can uh, basically swap out their Pokemon. It must be the other Lycanroc. So, but either way, Lycanroc, very nice. All right, for a recap, we have Charizard GX. Very nice hit right there. Celesteela. Um, can't remember if we have Celesteela. Naganadal, very nice 
shiny and then a lichen rock as well double shiny gx and that should bring us to let's see 12 17 points tim if you had any kind of decent box <laughs> i'm thinking you took the victory but either way as always guys thanks for watching be sure to check out tim's video link down below i'm moana turtle and i'll catch you guys next time